There were, as there had been on this and past shuttle missions, delays this morning. This time it was Florida's freezing snap. There were icicles on the launch gantry and there was a two hour delay until NASA officials were satisfied there was no danger. The family of Krista McAuliffe, the first teacher, the first private citizen to be chosen for a space flight, watched the launch. And liftoff, liftoff of the 25th space shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Attention now, control. Roger, roll, Challenger. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. For a whole minute, the launch went as planned. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Mission Control gave the command for the last burst of power to kick Challenger into space. Engines throttling up. Three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. All that was left were the contrails of the bits and pieces of Challenger. Obviously a major malfunction. For 45 minutes, rescue craft couldn't get near the debris because pieces of Challenger were still falling from the sky. On the ground, shock. Macaulay's parents, Edward and Grace Corrigan. It quickly became clear that no one had survived. I regret that I have to report that based on very preliminary searches of the ocean where the Challenger impacted this morning, these searches have not revealed any evidence that the crew of Challenger survived. NASA rejected suggestions that the mission had been rushed to avoid the embarrassment of further delays. There was absolutely no pressure to get uh, this particular launch off. Uh, we have always uh, maintain that flight safety is our top priority consideration in the program and we look at the status and readiness of the systems based on that. Uh, we thoroughly reviewed the activities uh, over the weekend and yesterday and continually reviewed the uh, status of Challenger right up until launch this morning. Uh, all of the people involved in this program to my knowledge felt that Challenger was quite ready to go and uh, I made the uh, decision, along with the recommendation from the team supporting me, that we launch. Over the years, we've learned to take venturing into space almost for granted. The very choice of Krista McAuliffe symbolized that. She was the first ordinary folks to be chosen to go into space. If she could go, why not the rest of us? Today, we found out that it isn't that easy. Today, we learned the real cost of trying to conquer space. Joe Schlesinger, CBC News, Cape Canaveral, Florida.